Uh, Beethoven certainly could be considered a revolutionary and quite possibly one of the most revolutionary musicians of our entire musical life that we know of. He took any instrument that he was writing for and stretched it to its limits, not only in terms of the range and the volume, but what you would associate with emotional output with an instrument. Beethoven was well aware that he was losing his hearing when he wrote this um, Eroica Symphony, although a lot of the material that he used um, came from before that time, that awareness would have happened. And actually this symphony is unique because the melody is introduced not by a treble instrument, it's introduced by the cellos. And this just seems like such a silly thing, but we normally expect the, the song or the melody to come from something of a higher voice, but right away it's this kind of um, just very poised, um, almost serene, masculine feel. We, we start to feel the swing of the music, and then suddenly he starts to have these opposing angles, these accented um, hits that the orchestra has, and that's what really bothered people a lot when it was premiered, because they felt they were, they, just at the moment they were getting into the music, suddenly it would have this sharp, jarring um, diversion, and that was a, a, a function of uh, how he composed the first movement. Beethoven one time composes this concerto for three soloists, not one, and so we have a violin, cello, and piano soloist. The concerto is an incredible dialogue between the three, the three solo voices amplified by a full symphony orchestra. So um, I think some of the distinguishing char characteristics of this particular concerto, written for a nobility, uh, is uh, all the music has a does have a, a sense of poise, a little bit different than the symphony, which I feel like is a little bit more of a tussle, and there's more angst and more more searching and uh, more of that kind of a narrative. The concerto has this has this great expansive feel, but all of the musical components are um, you would just think of very noble type adjectives to think about how how that's executed. So it's it's funny they're they're kind of the two pieces are similar scale, but the, the method to convey the musical material is very, very different. The Eroica Trio is um, just an amazing group. One thing, they've just played together for such a long time, and they've played this concerto so many times, but I think our audience is really going to love that interplay and just that sense of shoes that fit extremely well. So whatever their interpretive take on the piece, it's going to be in consideration of hundreds of performances of the piece already.